Hi guys, for today's DIY I'm going to show you how to make this really cute laptop case. It reminds me of Tumblr because you can customize it and use whichever pictures you want on it. It's also very simple to make and very affordable, so if you'd like to see how to make it, just keep on watching. You're going to need a clear laptop case, I found mine online, Mod Podge, foam brushes, some magazine cutouts, clippings, stickers, whatever you want to put on your case. You're also going to need your laptop as like a measuring guide and a pair of scissors. First, you're just going to start laying out your cutouts and figure out which design you're going for and how you want them to be on your laptop case. Then what I did here is I took a glue stick and kind of glued all the smaller pieces to the larger pieces just so I only had a few pieces of glue as opposed to a ton of small pieces of glue. It's just a lot easier in the long run. This part is optional, but I took the sticker that comes with your laptop and covered the Apple logo with it. I didn't want to cover my logo with pictures because I like the way it lights up. Now you're just going to take your cover and flip it over because we are going to be gluing the pictures on the inside. You're just going to flip them over and start gluing them down. But make sure you pay attention. As you can see here, the pictures need to be layered properly in order to achieve the design that you wanted. So you're going to need to pay attention on which pictures go first. Now you're just going to take your Mod Podge and put a very thin layer of the Mod Podge on. We don't want to create too many bubbles or anything like that. And once you're done with that nice thin layer, you want to flip it over and glue it on the inside of the case and then smooth it out and try and remove as many of those bubbles as you can. Now you're just going to repeat that process for all of the pictures for this laptop cover. But one thing that I do recommend doing is every once in a while after you've glued down a couple of the photos, just go ahead and flip over the laptop case just to make sure you're gluing it properly and everything's lined up because once you glue something down, it's really hard to save the picture after that. Once you're all done gluing the pictures, I recommend flipping it over just to make sure you glued everything where you want it and you don't see any big air bubbles in any of the photos. Then go ahead and flip it back over and let it dry for a few hours. Once it's all dry, you want to take your Mod Podge and add another nice thin layer just to seal everything in and make sure the pictures really stick. And after you're done adding this layer of Mod Podge, you want to let it dry about another hour and then you are all done. Here's what the finished laptop case looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you decide to make this case, I would love to see it. Make sure to tweet me a picture or tag me on Instagram at Laguna Beach Love. If you would like to see how I made my headboard or this spike tray, I will have those links down below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!